Hello everyone, this is Protocol Computer Repairs. In this video, I'll be talking about a very useful but underrated recovery feature that is available in Windows 10 that you may not be taking advantage of. If you have ever performed a Windows update, a driver install, or installed a piece of software and unfortunately ran into issue shortly after, then a system restore point would be your friend. To give you a quick explanation of what a restore point is, I would say it's sort of a time machine I like to call it. What it enables you to do on your Windows system is to simply travel back in time. If you are in a scenario where you recently made changes to your windows and now you're having issues that you didn't have the day prior or the week prior, you can use this handy feature in windows to revert those changes you've made. So not to waste any more of your time, I'd like to jump into how you go about configuring such a handy feature. In order to access the system restore option, you want to head down to your start menu and type into the search bar system restore. From here, you would click on create a restore point and then system restore. And that brings up the restore prompt. So system restore does not affect your documents, pictures, music, videos, basically your personal data or your personal files uh, would not be affected. However, system restore does affect programs and drivers and Windows updates as well. Uh, if you're fine with that, uh, we can go ahead and click on the next button and that takes us to the next window. So in this window, you'll have different restore points available. Uh, you'll see date and times for each one. You'll see the description and the type. If you only see one or two, you can come down uh, to the show more restore points checkbox. If you have this available and just click that, then that shows you any hidden ones that may not be showing uh, that you have. That's even later than the ones that are currently showing. Um, so uh, to give you guys a scenario, um, for example, say today I'm having an issue, which is July 25th. Um, I just installed a program and now I'm, I'm experiencing blue screens or uh, very, you know, just unusual behavior from the system. Uh, you can choose a prior date. So I have the 24th and the 17th. Um, in your case, if you're not sure if you're, you know, if you were having issues the day before, it would just be best to go to the, the, the later restore point that you would have. So I would have the 17th. And I know for sure the system was working on that date. So you would do what you would do is select that date. Uh, and you can also go down to scan for affected programs. And that lets you know what programs and drivers would be deleted and what programs and drivers might be restored um, or that might not work correctly and uh, they may need to be reinstalled. So just take a look at this list uh, so that you're aware of, you know, those affected programs and then you would hit close choose the restore point that you want to go with, hit the next button. And then in this uh, window, you'd hit the finish and that would uh, begin a restore point for you. Uh, it's going to show you that, you know, the restore point is, is uh, currently going and it's going to reboot once it's completed. Uh, it can take anywhere from tw like 10 to 25 minutes, I would say to complete usually maybe a little bit longer, but uh, once it reboots, it lets you know if it completed successfully or unsuccessfully. For those of you who are wondering how to create a restore point, I'll be showing you guys how to do that as well. So you want to do the same thing, head down to your start menu, type into the search bar system restore, go to create a restore point. And uh, from here, you would, want to, you would want to make sure that your C drive has the protection on. If it's off, then your system will not be creating restore points for you. Uh, so you just want to make sure that it's on. So to configure it, if it's off, you want to click the drive, go to configure, make sure that turn on system protection is turned is, is uh, checked. And uh, you could designate how much space you want to allocate to the system restore function. Um, me, I have 4%. You can go higher if you want it. Um, the higher you go, the more restore points you will have. Um, but you know, at a certain point, if it's hitting a threshold, um, it does start to delete older restore points to make room for newer ones. So if, uh, if you have all of this set, you would click okay. You can hit apply if you hit, made any changes. So hit apply and then hit okay. And then you would go to, um, create and you can just put any name. We're just going to put, um, me, I'll, I'll just put save point and then you hit create. 
and that creates a restore point for you. So once this is completed, you can check it by going to the system restore option. So we'll just wait for this to, it'll let you know it's been completed successfully. You hit close, you go to res, uh, system restore, and then it should show up here. Uh, so I have, uh, I've made one already. So mine is not showing, but uh, if you've, if you've not had one created today, uh, it would show up here under system restore points. And that's pretty much it. Now there is another way to access the system restore feature. Uh, that way would be through the Windows 10 recovery. In order for you to get there from the desktop, you wanna to head to the Windows icon at the bottom in your start menu. Click on that, right click on the power icon and then while holding down the shift key on your keyboard, you would click restart and then that would reboot you into the Windows 10 recovery. Uh, so this method could be used if you're having issues in Windows and you're just unable to access the system restore function. Maybe the, the computer is operating slowly or maybe it's just not really possible for you to get there for some odd reason. Uh, so rebooting into the recovery would be another way to access the system restore function. Um, also, this portion of the video would help those of you who are um, just unable to access Windows in general and you can only see uh, their recovery on startup. So let's get there. This would be the Windows 10 recovery menu. From here, you would go to troubleshoot, select advanced options, go to system restore. From this screen, you'd go to your user account. It's gonna ask you to enter your uh, password. This would bring up the same Windows 10 system restore prompt. You'd click next. And we would have the same dates that we had available in Windows. So uh, basically we would choose the date when the system worked perfectly fine. In my case, that date was the 17th because I started having issues today, which is the 25th. So we'd select that date, press next, and then you would click finish. And then that would begin the restore point. Um, if you were unable to access Windows before doing this, it should boot back into Windows successfully if it completed uh, with no issues. And um, if it does, then you guys should be all set. Hopefully this video explained to you guys how useful the system restore tool can be. I find a lot of people underrated, but personally, I think it's a very useful tool and I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys thought this video was helpful, please consider leaving a thumbs up as that does help the video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you want to see any future tutorial videos from me, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thanks guys. Peace.